following is an HCPSS TV special presentation. Please be seated. Thank you to Mr. Posner and the Wind Ensemble, the Jerry TC Color Guard, and Ms. Malaro, and all of the commencement singers. The high school experience was different for all of us. Some, met, some spent the majority staying up late just to try to get into that prestigious college or university. Some focused on the social opportunities that school provided. Others were somewhere in the middle, trying to, trying to enjoy the complete experience of high school, and even if they sometimes felt that they, were, that they were overlooked, making their own impact. No matter your approach to high school, we all made it to this point. And I hope you all, in your own way, made sure to live it young, wild, and free. <laughs> this may be the last day some of us see each other for the first time or say goodbye for the last. How will you make the most of it? At this time, I would like to, invo I would like to invite Anna Lloyd and Shiza Manzor to introduce our platform guests. Appleton High School is pleased to acknowledge our special guests. We thank each of them for taking the time to share in this special occasion with us and invite them to stand for recognition as their names are called. The Honorable Dr. Calvin Ball, Howard County Executive. <laughs> Ms. Sabina Taj, Howard County Board of Education. Ms. Ambika Sidabathula, Howard, student member, Howard County Board of Education. Dr. Michael J. Martirano, Superintendent, Howard County Public School System. Mr. Robert A. Motley, Principal.
the Honorable Dr. Clarence Lamb, Maryland State Senator, District 12. The Honorable Vanessa E. Atterbury, Maryland State Delegate, District 13 and Atherton alumna. The Honorable Eric Ebersol, Maryland State Delegate, District 12A. The Honorable Trent, er, yeah, Trent Kittleman, Maryland State Delegate, District 9A. The Honorable Jennifer Tarasa, Maryland State Delegate, District 13. Mr. William Barnes, Chief Academic Officer. My former elementary school principal, Doc, Mr. David Larner, Chief Human Resources and Professional Development Officer. Dr. Monifa McKnight, Chief School Management and Instructional Leadership Officer. Mr. Jahan Thab Siddiqui, Chief Communication, Community and Workforce Engagement Officer. Ms. Marcy Leonard, Community Superintendent, Area 1. Mr. Jason McCoy, Performance, Equity, and Community Response Director, Area 1. Mr. Larry Cohen, former member of the Board of Education. Mr. Carl Schindler, Principal, Applications and Research Laboratory. Ms. Amy Jensen, Assistant Principal, Homewood Center. Ms. Adrian B. Nasir, Assistant Principal. Mr. Samuel A. Richmond, Assistant Principal. Ms. Lisa Veslaney, Assistant Principal. Mr. Michael Sinisi, Athletics and Activities Manager. Mr. Thomas Stuppy, Educator of the Year for the Class of 2019. Mr. Jesse Moore, Alternative Education Teacher. And finally, we thank the Athlon High School faculty and families for joining us this morning to celebrate our special occasion. Our first student performance today will be from a trio of musicians who are excited to share their love of music with Raider Nation. A music lover all his life, Christian Merrick has been playing guitar and singing for the past couple of years with his band, Dry Season. After considering possible audition pieces, he decided to arrange Green Day's Good Riddance for himself and two violinists. When the time came to make this a reality, he reached out to his close friends, Michelle Jin and Jesse Wegg, who share Christian's love for music. All three have participated in the highest level of choir and orchestra at Athleton. Christian and Jesse have participated in Sierra Maryland All-State Choir and Orchestra, respectively, and Jesse and Michelle are members of the Howard County Youth Orchestra. Although none of the three musicians plan on making music their major, they all intend to stay musically involved outside the classroom. Christian will study English at Kenyon College, Michelle will study nursing at Towson University, and Jesse plans on studying quantitative social sciences at Dartmouth College. Performing Good Riddance by Green Day, please welcome Christian Merrick on guitar and vocals and Michelle Jin and Jesse Wang on violin. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go. So make the best of this test and don't ask why. 
It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still friends in your mind Hang it on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you have the time of your life Something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. Well, it's the end, the moment we've all been waiting for. It's been one hell of a ride, let me tell you. Now, I've done some things that I never would have pre predicted for myself four years ago. I've acted in all manner of theatrical productions. I've stood on stage in nothing but my underwear. I've played animalistic, half-human hybrids and aliens. I went to homecoming once, and it was, eh. <laughs> but it's been great. I can guarantee you, I will not forget one day, one moment of the past four years that we've spent getting here. Four long, tiring years of late nights, hastily memorized monologues, four-page essays written at the last minute, and classes that we probably could have afforded to pay more attention to. I can still recall when I first wandered into Atholton back in 2015, when I was just a tiny freshman. I mean, I was barely 5'11". I was ready to take the school by storm. I was ready to be the king of the hill. I was ready to be the guy that everyone knew or wanted to know. Within a week, though, it became apparent that that was not going to happen. I mean, how about a majority of you don't even have any idea who I am? Uh, to some of you, I'm probably just that tall guy who you occasionally hear singing off-key in the hallway between classes. My point is this. I didn't achieve all the goals that I expected to achieve. I didn't star in every play. I didn't ace every test. I never scored the winning touchdown. That's the football one, right? Anyway, a majority of you probably didn't achieve all of your goals either. That's all right, and that's to be expected at the end of the day, and that's what high school is all about. In a few days, we'll be off to our own futures, our own new opportunities. Chances are that we'll not achieve everything that we wish for. We'll fail, we'll stumble, we'll fall. But it's not our mistakes or our failures that'll define us. Our recoveries will define us. Our time here at Athelton has given us the ability to pick ourselves up off the ground and move forward to tomorrow with new ideas and a new sense of purpose, a resolve that we will not go quietly into the night, that we will move on and triumph. Life is an anthology of good things and bad things, ups and downs, failures and victories. So let's go out and find those failures. Everyone loves an underdog story. I'll bet half of our college essays were about overcoming obstacles. So let's find those challenges and let's move past them. With any luck, when we get together in five years for the reunion, we'll have an awful lot of stories to tell.
Our next performer has truly immersed herself in the Athelton community, participating in the wide range of opportunities the school has to offer. She took part in company leadership in JROTC and helped coordinate and direct the school's fall play, while all at the same time balanced her academics with her many extracurriculars, participating in the National Honor Society. Her interests include theater, law and justice, and creative writing, which has all influenced her to join the Air Force and attend the University of Alabama, where she will be majoring in international studies and philosophy. Please help me give a warm welcome to Grace Woodson as she shares an inspiring original poem about the impactful moments of and memories of high school. An open letter to high school. Dear August 2015, it's been a long time since we've addressed you. We are so very different from when we last spoke, most of us you wouldn't even recognize. Young and blind, we wandered into the halls, indestructible as the year began. And we never thought it could happen to us, the beginning of the end for some, as best friends changed colors into strangers, years of friendship crunched like dead leaves beneath our feet. But someone new looks to you, reaches in, and pulls you up so you stand. Your new friend has a smile that warms you deeply because when you look at their face, you remind yourself that it gets better. And we never thought it would happen to us, the satisfying monotony of high school finally setting in like snow, hopefully, sticking to the frozen ground, discovering the hidden gems of high school, a for unforgettable class, a remarkable teacher, a friend who's maybe more than a friend. And we never thought it would happen to us, creating the future of our dreams, every single detail of that job, that branch, that school, your choice feels right. Pouring every last bit of yourself into your ambitions, racing to open that letter, seeing that decision, feeling a tightness in your chest as you realize the answer is no. What does life have left to hold for you now that your chance feels stolen? But the future's not quite finished with you because something new finds you, a new dream, a new job, a new start. New people you meet make you smile, new buildings drag your eyes skyward and beyond, high into your future, and you can't help but smile when you think about your world shaped by no's, suddenly becoming a present illuminated by yes. And you would be lying if you didn't admit that it got better. So August 2015, if you think it cannot happen to you, your feet are too heavy to lift off the ground, eyes cast down and head held low, I'll remind you once again that you have a destination to reach. Life does get better, we get better, I got better. Ice and snow only last for so long because winter eventually fades into spring and you will have a May. And May is so warm and sunny and full of possibilities. Sincerely, the class of 2019. Good afternoon, Raider Nation. It is an honor and a pleasure to stand before you on this special day. Looking out to you all, I see the excited faces of my friends and classmates. I see our parents, our families, our neighbors and friends. I see our teachers, coaches, and administrators who have worked so hard to help us grow up, worked so hard to create this Athelton community. And we, the class of 2019, thank you for it is this community that has brought us here now. My fellow graduates, today we reflect on the friends we've made and the experience we will never forget. We admire our glow ups and laugh over those early morning battles in the parking lot. We've been in this together since day one, August 21st, 2015. And now we finish this together, four years wiser and maybe four inches taller. The memories and lessons of our shared past give us strength for the future. This community has fostered growth and achievement in all of our different interests. 
in the classroom or on the track, in the shop or on the field, in the studio or on the stage, Appleton has given us the tools to succeed. This community has wanted us to succeed. And we, my fellow Raiders, are going to succeed. Though our time at Athelton is over, our membership in the Raider community will never end. We will always carry with us the I believe attitude. After all, we've chanted it at enough games and competitions. All of our hard work has led up to this moment. Congratulations, we have done it. We are officially moving on to the next stage of our lives. And I believe we are more than ready to tackle everything up ahead. In less than an hour, Athelton will be part of our past, but the memories, love, and support of this Raider community will stay with us always. I'm thrilled to, the port, to report that Dr. Ball has arrived, and I am delighted to invite Howard County Executive, Dr. Calvin Ball, to the podium to address the class of 2019. Good afternoon. We could do much better than that. Good afternoon. <laughs> Rudyard Clip Kipling reminds us that if you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too, if you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about, don't deal in lies, or being hated, don't give to waiting, and yet don't look too good nor talk too wise. The late, great Howard County Superintendent, Dr. Sidney Cousin, used to say that the very best commencement speech was the one where the beginning and the end were very close together. So Raiders, commencements are a time of endings, but more importantly, they're a time of beginnings. You've shown the resilience and the perseverance that it took to get here and succeed, and please remember as you embark on your next beginning, the love and support you have here today from all of your loved ones, your teachers, your entire community. And graduates, as an educator, as a parent of kids in our school system, and as your county executive, we are so very proud of you, and we are confident that you will continue to be successful. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Ball, for those words and for celebrating with us today. Distinguished guests, parents, family members, staff, and community members, thank you for being here to help celebrate this momentous occasion. Your presence this afternoon is testimony to the support our students have received over the course of their journey to this very moment, a moment to be cherished and, above all, celebrated. Let's have another round of applause for the class of 2019, please. At this time, it is my pleasure to invite a very familiar face and voice to Raider Nation. Every month this past school year, Mr. Cohen visited Athelton to offer a few sage pieces of advice and motivation to our students. He is a part of our Athelton community, and it is an honor to have my friend Larry Cohen offer the class of 2019 some final words of inspiration. Mr. Cohen. How you doing? Thumbs up? All right. Good afternoon, Athelton Raiders, class of 2019. 
and welcome to graduation day today, Friday, May 24th. I'm Larry Cohen, and as always, I hope you're all doing well, and I know you are. Congratulations. You did it. This is a very big day for you. Thank you so much for the opportunity and privilege to have gotten to know you over the past four years. I want you to know how honored I am for you welcoming me into your lives and into your school. I very much appreciate that. You are all very special to me. You have made me feel part of the Atherton family. And I want you to also know that I am so very proud of you, not only for your achievements and accomplishments, but even more so for the fine young ladies and gentlemen that you are. I am so proud and thrilled to be here, watch you cross the stage and get your diploma. Parents and other family members, thank you for the wonderful people that you have sent us. Good job. To my very good friend, Mr. Robert Motley, and all of the Atherton staff, thank you so much for what you have done for these wonderful students. You should very, be very proud of their work also. Job well done. To the graduates, what can I say? Today, it is all about you, all about you. Before my closing comments, I'm going to leave you with a couple of quotes that I hope you remember and adhere to. Number one, if you always tell the truth, you don't have to remember what you said. All right. Number two, it's always better to be prepared for an opportunity and not have one than to have an opportunity and not be prepared. And number three, nobody is good at everything, but everybody is good at something. Each and every one of you is unique and have your own strengths and talents. Use those talents and strengths to be the best you can be and to help others. Thank you. And so now, for the very last time, special from me to you, the Atherton graduating class of 2019, live and unplugged, upfront and personal, my closing comments. Work hard, never give up. Maintain your sense of humor, You'll always need that. Use your time wisely. Always do your very best. Have a good positive attitude. Have confidence in yourself and your abilities. Be honest with yourself and others. Respect yourself and others. Always be in control of your attitude, actions, and behaviors. Think before you act and think before you react. Be nice and kind to each other. Follow through on your commitments and responsibilities. Use good judgment. Make good decisions and good choices. Keep both your body and mind healthy and strong, and always keep love in your heart. Stay healthy. Please be careful out there. And as always, and most importantly, because we all love you and care about you, each and every one of you, come back safely to your parents, friends, and family every day. And now just a couple of special added comments to you, the class of 2019. No matter where you're off to or where you go from here, my hopes and wishes are for you always. May you always be healthy. May you always be safe. May you be happy. May your dreams of today and your hopes of today become your realities of tomorrow. May there always be more laughs than tears. May your principles and values always guide you. May you always treat others the way you want to be treated. May you always have the courage, strength, and ability to continue to move forward and to meet all new challenges. May you do great things and inspire others to do the same. And finally, may your story continue and may the best be yet to come. Thank you as always for listening. Have a great day. Have a great life. Love to you all, stay in touch, and of course, keep smiling. 
Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cohen, for sharing your wisdom today and throughout the school year. This year, I am pleased to invite the Teacher of the Year for the Class of 2019, Mr. Thomas Stuppy, the opportunity to address our graduates. Mr. Stuppy. Hello, salutations. Whew. Every year for the past nine years, I have started my English 9 class with a poem, The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. You know the one, two roads diverged in a yellow wood. I taught you that the poem was about responsible decision making because I wanted you to consider the weight of the four years ahead of you. But in reality, it's a poem about regret. The narrator stands at this fork, unsure of what to do, and when he finally makes up his mind, he can't help but wonder about the road he didn't take. It's about how the decisions you make shape you, but also block you off forever from some other course of action, some other life that remains unlived. It's about the question of what if. The problem with what ifs is it means a life spent looking backwards. It means spending every moment wondering what a parallel you and a parallel life could be doing instead of appreciating what you actually are doing. A what if can be a fast track to disappointment because it's predicated upon this notion that you can never change your mind. So here's what I didn't tell you freshman year, you can leave the road you're on. You can look down the path ahead and say, huh, no thank you. You can do this 10 steps in and you can do it 10 miles in. For two days during my sophomore year, I was a member of the Athleton wrestling team. <laughs> At the time, I was, if you can imagine, in slightly better shape than I'm in today. And when the coach spotted me huffing and puffing around the track in a beautiful 11 minute mile, the paragon of Paragon of heavyweight excellence. He asked me if I wanted to join the team. And what else did I have to do? I was 15, I spent most of my time playing Nintendo in a basement. So I joined the team and it wasn't what I expected. It wasn't horsing around, there were no folding chairs to swing. Uh, it was a group of serious athletes, which are two words that have been never used to describe me. I didn't feel the draw, I didn't make a connection, and I didn't love it. And Robert Frost's ideals dictate that you're gonna march forward down this path, but I could already tell that this path was not where I wanted to go. So I told that to the coach, and he nodded thoughtfully, he had his roster in his hand, and he said, okay, I'll just put a little cue by your name. For quitter! <laughs> quitter, I said, quitter! I am the opposite of a quitter. I married my high school sweetheart, I returned to my hometown after college, and started working at the high school I attended. I have bought the same pair of shoes for 10 years, and one of the great disappointments of my life was when the Columbia L.L. Bean closed because it meant I had to go somewhere else to buy new shirts. The Tyson's Corner L.L. Bean. I started my English 9 class with the same poem every year for nine years, the same lecture about responsible decision making. I am not a quitter, I'm a committer. And yet there it was, that little cue by my name in the history of Athleton wrestling. So here I stand before you, Thomas Stuppy, Q. I have a Q by my name, but it is not a scarlet letter. In fact, it's been a badge of power. I can quit anything. And this means that I, not this, but uh, it means I possess the ability to change the road I'm on at any point. I can be anything, and here we go. This is the thesis of the speech. You can be anything too. You spend the majority of your high school career being told that time is running out. Uh, to set the course for your future. You've got four years, three years, two years, and then it's, where are you gonna go? What are you gonna study? Who are you gonna be? And I know most of you are thinking, well, this is it. This is the line in the sand. After today, no one will bother me about the future. Ha! <laughs> the road beyond high school just means more questions and more decisions. Where are you gonna live? Where are you gonna work? When are you gonna retire? There are no right answers to these questions, but as you're gonna find in life, there are wrong ones. You're gonna make decisions and dislike the outcomes. You will have regrets and you will ask yourself, what if, what if? My daughter is two years old, which means I have seen Disney's film Moana 5,000 times. It is the only contemporary pop culture reference that I know. Maybe it was the keen, thoughtful references to this amazing film over the course of the year that earned me your title of Teacher of the Year. So in that spirit, it's worth noting that at the end of the film, 
Yeah, I'm talking about Moana here. Moana has this realization about her destiny. She has spent all this time thinking that the world is going to tell her who to be and what to do. But in the end, she realizes that the call isn't out there at all. It's inside me. Like the tide, always falling and rising. And every time I tear up. Because the answer to the question of what if lies in you. No one can tell you who to be. The universe is not going to knock on your door or shout from some rooftop. You are going to get opportunities. You will take chances. You will pursue goals. But if you don't like the road you're on, if you don't like the person you're becoming, you can change. Forget the maps. Your heart is your compass. Sometimes the pull will be strong and steer you down the right path, and other times you're going to need to stop what you're doing and watch the needle and measure expectations against your enthusiasm and ask yourself if this is where you want to be. Along the way, build relationships that will help you see your path from another point of view. I wouldn't be here without my family's encouragement, and I'm sure that's something you guys all can agree with as well. So I, I tell you, live a life that you love and carry athletes in your hearts and remind yourself that you know the way. Two roads may diverge in a yellow wood, but if you change your mind about where you're headed, you can always change the path you're on. Life is too short to be unhappy, so don't be afraid to take your name and put a little cue by it. I took the cue by my name. Because I quit the team and had my afternoons free, I was able to get Chick-fil-A with a girl from my Spanish class. <laughs> a girl that I married and who encouraged me to follow my heart and take this job. We have a daughter and a little girl on the way, and I live this life that I love. So I took the cue by my name, and now I never need to ask what if. And that has made all the difference for me. Good luck to the class of 2019. Go Raiders. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Stuffy, and once again, congratulations on the high honor of being selected Teacher of the Year. Good afternoon. My name is Mr. Mosby. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Motley. And I am thrilled to be a part of this commencement ceremony for the class of 2019. Oh, hold on, I forgot something. It's not that bad, actually, huh? As I begin, I'd like to take a moment to thank my awesome administrative team, Ms. Nasir, Mr. Richmond, Ms. Vaslani, Mr. Sinisi, for their leadership, their friendship, and their endless support. I have the utmost respect for each of you and consider myself fortunate to have such a great team. In fact, we, they're Motley's crew. That's for all the parents out there. The kids don't know what that is, right? So <clears throat> words also cannot express how grateful I am for the hard work and time put in to making this ceremony a success by our graduation coordinator, Ms. Bonomo Thomas. I'm sure I echo the sentiment of the class of 2019 when I say we greatly appreciate your efforts. Let's give her a round of applause, please. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize the staff of Appleton High School. Their hard work and dedication, both in the classroom and out, have been instrumental in helping our graduates get where they are today. Thank you, staff, for what you do on a daily basis. Give your teachers a round of applause, please. Thank you to Marriott Ridge High School for your flexibility and understanding as we swapped graduation times. And as a result, we hope to bring back a state title. No pressure, track team, okay? And last, but certainly not least, parents. Where will we be without you? Behind the scenes, encouraging, counseling, and guiding our seniors to this point. Congratulations, and take time to treasure this moment. You deserve a round of applause. Class of 2019, let's give them a round of applause. Now, graduates. Here we are. Your senior year began in September with the arrival of a new principal, me, 
Ta-da. <laughs> With the new principle came new expectations, not so popular ones, I might add, right? However, as the year progressed, I found myself getting to know more and more of you, and you all getting to know more and more about me. So this I say to you, although I wasn't here when you began your high school journey, I'm honored to be here as it ends. I've enjoyed building relationships with you and sharing in the experiences that have made up your senior year. So let's take a stroll down memory lane, shall we? Remember that awesome come from behind win by our football team against Reservoir and rushing the field afterwards? What about our state championship volleyball team? And our county champion basketball team? Those were some exciting games. And let's not forget our state, our senior state wrestling champ as well. And what about our awesome band, orchestra, and choir concerts? And the musicals, It's a Wonderful Life in Shrek. The awesome dance concerts and the, ex the extraordinary BSU and Bully Free Forever assemblies. And I can't forget those robotic com robotics competitions as well. I have truly enjoyed celebrating you this year. Oh, and we can't forget my rolling cart around the hallways as well, right? You know, I'm sorry I never took you all up on the opportunity to put GoPro on the front of it to kind of see how it goes, right? Oh, and balloons, 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 balloons. I'll never look at another balloon the same way. Thank you, class of 2019. Now, Academically, you are an impressive group. You have garnered, believe it or not, over $10 million in scholarship support and recognition. Round of applause for that. This class, whether you're off to a two or four year college or university, off to serve our country in the armed forces, or off to the world of work, you are prepared to take on the challenges that lie before you. On your journey, you will encounter many successes, but you will also encounter failure. And that's not a bad thing. On the contrary, failure can be the best thing that ever happened to you. It helps you grow, learn, and develop. In fact, failure in life is inevitable. You see, failure teaches you things about yourself that you could have learned no other way you will discover that you have a strong will and more discipline than you had previously thought. The knowledge that you have emerged wiser and stronger from those setbacks means that you have become secure in your ability to survive. Kind of sounds like high school a little bit, huh? You see, with failure, you have two options. The first is to give up and never try again. Or the second is to become so possessed with not failing again that you use it as fuel to drive you every single day and take yourself to a whole new level of determination. Now the sad part is that some people are so focused on not failing that they choose to play it safe to fly below the radar, repeating the same safe choices over and over again. They operate under the belief that if they make no waves, they attract no attention, no one will yell at them for failing. So what does all this mean? What lessons can be learned from failing, you may ask? Well, four come to mind. First is experience. What happens when we fail, when we go through something and can walk away with first-hand experience, it helps us to develop a deeper understanding for life. Number two, knowledge. Failure brings with it important first-hand knowledge. 
use that knowledge to overcome the very failure that inflicted so much pain in the first place. Nothing can replace the knowledge that you gain from having failed. Third, resilience. Failing in life helps to build resilience. The more we fail, the more resilient we become. In order to achieve great success, we must know resilience. Because if we think that we're gonna succeed on the first try, or even the first few tries, then we're sure to set ourselves up for a far more painful failure. And last is growth. When we fail, we grow and mature as human beings. We reach deeper meanings and understanding about what our lives are and why we're doing the things that we're doing. And this helps us to reflect and take things into perspective. So, class of 2019, to achieve your personal best, to reach unparalleled heights, to make the impossible possible, you cannot fear failure. You must think big and you have to push yourself. When we think of people with this mindset, we imagine the daredevils, the pioneers, the inventors, and the explorers. They embrace failure as a necessary step to unprecedented success. It has been an honor and a pleasure to have served as your principal. Thank you for your contributions to the Appleton community, and thank you for allowing me to be a part of your journey. I wish you all the very best, and I look forward to congratulating you as you walk across the stage in just a few moments. Let's hear it, everyone, one more time for the class of 2019. Board members Sabina Taj and Superintendent Dr. Martirano, as principal of Appleton High School, I hereby certify that the graduates seated before you have met all the requirements for graduation set forth by the Howard County Public School System and the Maryland State Department of Education. They are eligible to receive a Maryland High School diploma, a certificate of completion, certificate of attendance, or certificate of achievement. It is my sincere pleasure to now have the opportunity to introduce someone who I truly admire. His leadership has had a profound impact on my own leadership journey. He is a man with a big heart and a big smile who lives by the motto, to teach a child, you must know a child. Please give a thunderous round of applause for the man who gave you all those snow days your very own Howard County Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Michael Martirano. Good afternoon, beautiful people. It is wonderful to see you, and you look marvelous. Congratulations to all of your family members, and I am so proud of you. I take great pride and joy in your achievements, but as a father myself and as a lifelong teacher, I care most about your character. Ultimately, who you are as a person will determine your lifelong success, fulfillment, and happiness. Having strong character involves hard work, perseverance, grit, determination, and reaching down to give others a hand up. So it is incumbent, as I sat preparing for this wonderful day, it is incumbent upon me as your superintendent to also add to the many words of wisdom based upon my own life experiences. So I came up with this very novel concept to frame that, which is, my top 10 list of always and nevers. And as I'm telling you about this list, there are so many, so many profound statements 
that I want you to carry with you and to all of our audience members. This is a very instructive moment. So let me start with number 10. Always, always make life pleasant for others. Number nine, always do more than is expected. Now get ready. Number eight, never put pineapple on pizza. Never. Always RSVP even when you aren't attending an event. Always RSVP. It continues. Get ready for the profound nature of these. Always wear crazy socks because research tells us people that do are more brilliant, creative, and successful. Always turn off your cell phone and talk to someone. Get ready for the next one. Never give a fruitcake as a gift. <laughs> and always send a handwritten thank you note as soon as you receive a gift. A handwritten thank you note. Number two, always work hard and be kind. Number one. Never be afraid to say, I'm sorry, and always say, I love you, because leading with love is a position of strength. Leading with love is a position of strength. On that note, congratulations. I love each and every one of you. Job well, down, job well done, hashtag proud. Thank you very much. So I'm between you and the diplomas. And as I'm sitting there, this is my first graduation that I'm attending as a board member. And I'm listening to all the people who love you and thinking, wow, these are impressive. And I'm getting more and more nervous about what I say. And then Jen Tarasa sitting next to me says, wow, these are the best speeches I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm thinking, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> but you've heard some incredible pieces of advice. Lead with your heart. Lead with love. Let your values and compassion guide you. And I thought, what else can I add? And I looked out in the crowd and I saw the diversity and the community and the love. I mean, you have personal jokes with your principal. And you know, poetry with your English teacher, that's pretty incredible. You must have gone to a school where you connected with the people who surrounded you. It's amazing. So one thing I want you to do, when you get out in the world, decision-making bodies won't look like this. Unfortunately, in our world, decision-making bodies don't look as diverse as this. So I want you, when you go into your college or your job or whatever opportunity, and every table you sit at, look around and see who's not there. And then pull up a seat and invite them. Invite their experience and their voice to join you and make space. So I'll end with this. And it began with a song. It's all a little unpredictable, but in the end, it'll be all right. I hope you have the time of your life. Congratulations. All right, we are almost there. As a reminder to our graduates and guests, in order to preserve the dignity of the ceremony and ensure that all speakers and names are heard loud and clear, we respectfully ask that you refrain from the use of air horns, noisemakers, or any other items that could pose a distraction. We appreciate your assistance so that this celebration may be enjoyed by all. And now, may I please have our readers to the podium. Here we go.
Joseph John Abate. Adam Houghton Abdul Cotter. Casey Charles Abel. George Peter Max Abatante. Alenda Ahije Abueda. Aluashemi Lore Ayumide Aduale Edeye. Bayang Dang A Poor Bayi. Munam Ahmed. Justin Michael Amatui. Nuha Aj Ajamu. Jeremiah Houston Allen. Noah Ferdinand Martino Elper. Joseph Timothy Altaner. Yamini Viba Anunth. Sandra Hare Artiga. Lev Benjamin Axler. Mitchell Allen Bardsley. Eric Matthew Becker. Daisha Francis Bell. Jane Alexandra Bendel. Catherine Bridget Bentz. Andrew Paul Berman. Anthony Joseph Bermudez Maldonado. Helen Ann Berto. Emily Kate Bickle. Karen Lee Vinyamin. Ava Brielle Burden. Sienna Kia Basant. Rachel Renee Batar. Matthew Lewis Bloom. Elena Jane Bosmans. Luke William Boucher. Andrew Patrick Boulay. Emily Adoma Breffo. Devante Tyrell Brown. Kevin LaShawn Brown. Melvin Stewart Brown. Zora Camille Bohema Brown. Najee Aliyah Buckley. Cassidy Lynn Bunyard. Kaylee Farr Bunyard. Gary Michael Burke Jr. Sanaya Nicole Burley. Julia Therese Busby. Caleb Taylor Callender. Zuri Amil Cannon. Hyun Wu Chang. Isabeau Chang. Philip Choi. Seth David Taman Chu. Dorian Allen Coates. Addison Jane Collitz. 
Carson Neil Collier. Audrey Elena Collins. John Park Collins. Julia Elizabeth Collins. Mayland Amanda Cortez. Brandon, Brandon Jonathan Cotton. Hunter James Crone. Catherine Ann Cullen. Caitlin Dixon Dabney. Javon Tyson Daniel. Damon Lamont Day. Michael Joseph D'Angelo. Lily Grace DeSalle. Gabriella Rose De Grazia. J. Michael Desmaris. Andrew Joseph DeVroy. Jake Robert Dickerson. Tyler Jacob Dickover. Hunter Thomas Dobson. Benjamin Douglas Dodson. Naila Simone Downing. Richard Joseph Drucker. Aaron Marie Duncan. Hannah Margaret Duncan. Lauren Elizabeth Easley. Isha Edikoth. Fareed Isaac Eldrize Davalos. William Stephen Ingle. Diana Macy Ratio Enriquez. Delaney Ann Enzer. Gabriella Nicole Esquivel. Justin Fan. Emma Jane Farmer. Eleanor McNamara Ferris. Selena Yuichi Fay. Jake Connor Feldman. Anna Fang. Marianne Fang. Evan Blake Fearman. Sarah Elizabeth Fishkind. Danielle Nia Floyd. Harry Clyde Foncham. Gavin Andre Fournay. Linnea Renee Francis Williams. Sierra Noel Fry. Heather Nicole Friedman. Sarah Garmchi. Zachary Tyler Garrigus. Mary Catherine Gielek. Kaden Yelu Chuku. Antonia Juliana Jerry Ofor. Logan Cyrus Gandhi. Sophia Beth. Glaros, Jesse Nicole Gordon, Stephanie Elizabeth Gottwalls, Cecilia Renee Graham, Casey Harper Greenberg, Kyle Jordan Greenwald, 
Jacob Seth Hammett, Alexandra Renee Hargret, Dylan Kirk Harper, Jason Allen Hassett, Lauren Catherine Hyden, Aiden Kiefer Healy, Anastasia Marie Hearn, Sarah Helene Hefner, Kyle James Hess, Andrew James Hinton, Gregory Fusan Ho, George Matthew Hobbs, Sky Latavia Holmes, Andrew Chong Ho Hong, Brian Anthony Houston, Arnan Huang, Kelvin Jackie Will Huggins, Reed Bamber Huntley, Joanna Lee M, Ketsia Ishmani Mutoni, Albert Darnell Jackson, Connor Alexander Jacobs, Kyle Damon Jameson, Cole Xavier Jefferson, Caleb Michael Jeffries, Michelle Jin, Kimberly Summer Johnson, Michael Thomas Johnson, Samuel Cole Johnson, Kyle Christopher Jones, Justin Junhee Pack, Alyssa Tate Can, Jason Harold Kaplan, Maria Louise Agnes Kashak, Ian Christopher Kelly, Frederic Emma Ajane Kumeni. Muritab Drejo Kifle. Riley Andrew Killian. Som Young Kim. Emma Hart Kahansky. Jordan Lee Kolakatronis. Peniel Selassie Kretzi. Ernest Kachung Kwong. Sabrina Lago Marcino. Jessica Pernima Lacra. Fatima Rose Lalacini. Eric Lamb. Jenny Lynn Lamb. Jessica Marie Langsdale. Francis Makalintal Lapid. Daniel Brian Lawrence. Aaron Elizabeth Lay. Damari Tony Lee. DeMonte Roosevelt Lee. Julia Fung Lee. Kevin Lee. Maya Janae Lee. 
Sonia Manuela LaFors. Connor Christian Lehner. Catalina Yvonne Lennon. Ariel Victoria Lewis. Gio Lim. Brenna Palace Lindbergh. Anna Nicole Lloyd. Keenan Marcus Long. William Schofield Looney. Bob Benjamin Love. David William Lowe. Christopher Curtis Lytle. Kayla Tiana Mack Easley. Haley Nicole Maddox. Madison Catherine Mazel. Ariane Joyce Pasqua Malictum. Navni Kaur Mann. Shiza Anam Masur. Christian Lincoln Merrick. Naomi Danielle Marin. Connor Del Barillo Marshall. Kaylin Zaire Mathis. Carl David McAlduff. Chloe Elise McDonald. Everett Arthur Woody Medina. Er Eric Lawrence Merchant. Michael David Murky. Sophia Natasha Merkowitz Bustos. Blake Harrison Miller. Cujan Victor Milestead. Philip Lamont Mitchell. Lehua Mo Hunter. Kevin Gerald Magoyan Cabellos. Angelo Riverall Montales. Alexander Joshua Moody. Devin Moon. Kyle Anthony Moore. Jonathan Christopher Mosca. Kareem Elahi Mugal. Maxwell Milo Murray. Maria Helu Ejercito Myers. Jacob J. Yun Na. William Jasuk Na. Angelo DePaulo Nadal Baza. Alexander Matthew Nance. Noah Harith Nazrul Hisham. Ryder Lee Neal. Anaya Brene Nelson. David Tien Nguyen. Matthew Min Win. Daniel Joseph Nicholson. Juliet Harris Nearly. Derek Kenneth Knoppinger. Justin Wilbert Oates. Gloria Uchichuku Ogordi. Giles Amachuku Oji. Isaiah Trey Omar. Jalen Blackstrom O'Neill. 
Summer Jean O'Neill. Chukuebuka Ordubanya. Kayla Emma Nora Palmer. Natasha Minaj Pensare. Elise Mina Park. Junsa Park. Madison Kendall Park. Casey Jordan Parkins. Thomas Michael Pates. Sahil Darmesh Patel. Simran Gunsham Patel. Jade Lee Patkus. Sarah Nisha Paul. Julia Grace Perlin. John Paul Perret. Cheyenne Rain Peterson. Nia Rochelle Peterson. Rahel Ziada Petros. Jocelyn Pina. Jerome Pinargote. Celine Isabel Pisanic. Raghav Prabhakaran. Emma Therese Pratt. Sarah Marie Probst. Simran Puri. Sherry Ellis Samel Quinones Ayuso. Trishala Radhakrishnan. Sanaya Reddy. Stephen Reggie Abraham. Urgene Zafira Remy. Sydney Daniel Rhodes. Corey Taylor Richardson Ross. Jordan Lee Richmond. Cameron Page Rickard. Christian James Reardon. David Joseph Robbins. Donald Lee Robinson III. Miles Alexander Robinson. Mateo Rafael Rodriguez. Aiden Joseph Rowe. Sydney Michelle Ruley. Aiden Medhi Safdar. Layla Artis Sana. Victoria Cleo Taylor Sangvik. Adelson Santos. Justin Cole Sartwell. Emma Sowers. Kevin Patrick Scanlon. Olivia Marie Schindler. Kennedy Renee Seals. Ethan Miles Seeley. Jordan Lynn Samant. <clears throat> Arsalan Ahmed Shamsi. Ava Faith Shapiro. Zoe Brooke Shapiro. Ashish Solomon Sharma. Emily Nina Mayfong Shin. Jacob Robert Shepard. 
Jonathan Hee Sung Shin. Brian Henry Shipley. Allison Lydia Seal. Justin Paul Silverstein. Lena Singh. Helen Elizabeth Sayoma. Tierra Anita Sledge. Bianca Destiny Smalls. Kayla Sabrina Smith. Nathan Edward Smith. Campbell Leanne Snotty. Zachary Keith Snow. Yewande Tulalupe Shobasan. Carly Michelle Solomon. Chase Robert Solomon. Sarah Esther Na Ajili Sowa. Kyle Franklin Spicer. Samuel Aaron Spiegel. Ron James Marvin Steger. Caroline Samantha Stetzer. Cameron Rose Strive. Jasmine Elise Stroud. Jake William Strobel. Jonathan Lightfoot Suggs. Sianna Antoinette Swain. Catherine Alexandra Simpson. Andrew Jonathan Tartakovsky. Jordan Miles Taylor. Abel Tempkatum. Robin Dinica Tenhor. Lucas S. Tashoma. Jack Carlton Thaxton III. Colby Vernon Tebow. Deeran Singh Toot. Nathaniel David Topper. Jada Luann Trebilsi. Kevin Geely Tu. Yana Isabella Tumaneng. Autumn Gail Underwood. Cassia Marie Veek. Andre Oscar Villafana Gutierrez. Samuel Isaac Villatoro. Sierra Morgan Wainwright. Zachary Beck Wallace. Carol Wang. Jessica Wang. Nicholas Joseph Weber. Brian Scott Weinberg. Leah Elizabeth Wenstrom. Eric Anthony Wilding. Douglas Hugh Wilkinson. Crystal Mora Willison. Bradley Lewis Wilson. Denesha Zakaya Wilson. Larissa Sophia Winters. 
Ezebola Ifeacho Winodi. Justin Andrew Wovas. Zachary Evan Wovas. Heather Catherine Colleen Wynn. Elaine Clarice Yamamoto. Cheuk Yang. Melissa Courtney Yap. Morgan Lynette Young. Grace Ayung Yoon. Christina Zhao. Kevin Yifan Zhu. Jessica Margaret Zinderman. Lisa Nicole Zock. Logan Tyler Zook. Ms. Taj, please allow the following Howard County Public School System staff members to award their children's diplomas. Leah Billingsley, Clemens Crossing Elementary School. Aaron Perry Billingsley. <laughs> Sydney Billups, Athelton High School. Sean Leonard Billups. Charnay Bowens, Hammond High School. Ali Isaiah Bowens. Jossie Emmanuel Bowens. Kelly Brandt, Glenwood Middle School. Haley Ann Brandt. Tammy Boyer, Gorman Crossing Elementary School. Travis Lee Hatcher. Jennifer Gillum, Swansfield Elementary School. Jack Vincent Johnson. Carolyn Coates, Athelton Elementary School and Guilford Elementary School. Peter John Spindler Coates. James Mack at Longreach High School. Kate Elizabeth Mackin. Debbie Merwitz, Reservoir High School. Brooke Gabrielle Merwitz. Sharon Meyer, Hammond Elementary School. Joseph Zachary Meyer.
Colleen Morris, Howard County Education Association, and Tim Morris, Patuxent Valley Middle School. Kellen Daniel Morris. Melissa Morton, Burley Manor Middle School. Caroline Morton. Leanne Pazalski, Clarksville Middle School. Jack Pazalski. Lisa Plotkin, Pointers Run Elementary School. Lindsay Kate Plotkin. Yvette Pruitt, Wild Lake High School. Andrew Joseph Pruitt. Amy Snyder Thorne, Elkridge Landing Middle School. Tanner Jacob Snyder. Nikenji Tarver, Longfellow Elementary School. Ariel Tarver. Alicia Tyler, Murray Hill Middle School. Neil Allen Tyler. Ken Ullman, former Howard County Executive. Madeline Rose Ullman. Stephanie Wallace, Office of Student Support Programs. Elijah Gregory Wallace. Christine Woodson, Office of Reassignment and Residency. Grace Elizabeth Woodson. At this time, we welcome Jessica Wang, Senior Class President, and Gloria O'Gordy, Senior Class Vice President, to the podium. Congratulations, Appleton Class of 2019. Yay! <laughs> Woo! It has been an honor serving as your senior class president and vice president this school year. We'd like to take a moment to thank our classmates, teachers and staff, 
the Meriwether staff and families who have made our graduation possible. As we graduate, we hope you all fondly remember the past four years and wish you nothing but the best in your future endeavors. At this time, we ask that all our guests remain where they are until the Appleton High School graduating class has recessed fully out of the pavilion. And now, will the Appleton High School graduating class of 2019 please stand for the turning of the tassel.